am Mihir Joshi. This is the MJ Show, and I am here with my good friend, music director, singer, composer, uh, songwriter, writer in general, Kaushal Anandar. I hope you've caught part one and two because you must. You just got to go and check it out, part one and two. But right now, we're going to talk about uh, some of the things that are happening right now with Kaushal. And you know, before we actually begin, I got to say something. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I asked Kaushal. You know, I sweat a lot. You guys know that. You've seen me sweating in all of my <coughs> episodes. So I said, "Can you get me a tissue?" Hmm. And he got me a Star Wars tissue, and I was so happy. Like the moment we started off the show, I was like super happy that I've got a Star Wars tissue to dab my face with. Completely relevant to what we are talking about, but I had to share it with you. All right. Okay. Star Wars fan also, right? You're Star a Star Wars, Wars fan. Star Wars fan. Okay, Kaz. Always good. All right. By the way, again off topic. I'm a, I'm a John Williams fan actually. So. Okay. For the, the music yeah, for the music aspect for the music aspect brilliant i'm quite excited seventh movie is going to come out very soon now george lucas has given it away to disney and yes, they're going to be making yes. the new movies should be fun all right let's get back into kaushal anandar mode okay so apan balgandharva badal bollo we spoke about the soundtrack of the movie which is phenomenal uh, after balgandharva you made ajinta for which like you said you right. won a whole host of awards all my what atrupt vasana <laughs> was fulfilled in agenda <laughs> so now now i don't want to say that i don't want any more awards and all you love okay, some more I, I yeah <laughs> love some more but i i had this mujhko award nahi dete ho kind of that feeling is gone now i am ready to become a buddha fantastic yes. <laughs> but uh, you know i i remember uh, before the film came out yeah. i'd come to your house uh, in goregaon and right. uh, you played me the songs of the movie and yeah. i was like my god this is going to be incredible yes. and i remember you were actually very excited about it and you were telling me that you know you are also very happy with the way the soundtrack has turned yes, out yes yes and you obviously still yeah. hold that yeah. you know uh, that sentiment and is there any one song in the film that you feel that this was really brilliant i mean i feel like this is my crowning glory for the film which is why you would get all the awards and all that i got the awards for a different song hmm but my personal favorite hmm. in the movie hmm. and which is a personal favorite of i think all the people involved in the movie hmm. was another song because see ajanta was a movie based hmm. on the caves you know the uh, ajanta caves right it it's based on a true story hmm. uh, it's a love story between a east india officer who hmm. came to paint the Uh, the sculptures paintings, which were there yes, and, and two paintings and the sculptures that were there that were in ajanta correct and between him and an adivasi girl who lived in that lived area there. over there and right. they lived together for 10 years each of them not knowing each other's language correct and i don't know how they communicated but correct. they communicated and that uh story was yeah. written in a poetry form hmm. by nadhu mahanor who is one of marathi's leading poets and he is a farmer poet he okay. he is a farmer from that area okay so he has seen that <laughs> whole area and he saw uh, paros that is the girls uh, not a grave but a monument okay that robert gill right. built for right paro right and uh, he so only half of the story was documented oh, okay that robert gill part was documented Correct. that robert gill came to ajanta he painted the cave hmm. but paro exists only on that monument okay and so he wove that into a story and into a ballad okay so it was a ballad there were 10 songs in the film hmm. which were all which stemmed from that from ballad. that one ballad yeah. okay there was most of the songs six songs hmm. out of the 10 hmm. i composed them in the caves oh wow okay in ajinta okay so you went there so we went there okay and when he was showing the caves for for example i'll give you the example of one song hmm. the first song in the film hmm. you know if you see if you go to ajanta you see that the caves are in a semi circular shape in the mountain right okay in front of the the caves mm. there is a river called vaghura okay and then after vaghura there is another set of mountains so between two the river and the mountain there is a semi circular ajanta you can see correct and exactly opposite the caves mm. you have paros monument okay which robert gill built for, built her. for her on its it is inscribed on that to my beloved paro who died on this day hmm. 
so uh, mahanur the poet he was telling us the story mm. and he said this is where i wrote and he quoted his lines dolyanna dasale pahad ithale ya gondalya chandanya konya rang bilor gaur smruti cha olya ithe papanya the moment he quoted the lines i got the tune okay it was almost a spontaneous interaction okay can i hear and it? when we sang it dolya nad sale pahad ithale सले पहाड़ इथले ह्या गोंदल्या चांदण्या कोण्या रंग पिलोर गौर स्मृतीच्या ओल्या इथे पापण्या कोण्या रंग पिलोर गौर स्मृतीच्या ओल्या इथे पापण्या डोळ्या नाड सले पहाड इथले when i sang this because <coughs> of the structure of those caves and the mountains hmm. an echo came back wow. when i sang dolya nad sale pahad ithale of that was the the echo I, yeah i thought that nature was responding to my music my god wow and it was a phenomenal feeling amazing feeling brilliant when we recorded that song hmm. we recreated that echo wow in the music and uh, so six of the songs yeah. i composed it in ajinta okay. but there was one song that i wasn't getting at all okay it was a love song between paro and uh, robert gill hmm. and it was in the background of course because all the songs were in the background correct because in the song when gil expresses himself he mm. expresses himself in marathi right okay so i thought how do i treat this song whether i make it into a timeless piece of music hmm i try to that is correct or should i give it a period feel feel okay and after a lot of you know i was i didn't know what to do uh, again i had a sleepless night i tried to make the tune through the night but i couldn't get anything hmm. so at 3 o'clock in the morning hmm. i said i'll switch my brain to something else and i started watching this film hmm. bridges of madison county hmm. okay clean to student and meryl street meryl street yeah and when the story ended hmm. i had my tune it you know you are inspired by some other tune but this time i was inspired by that whole movie wow the story yes by the story because right. i thought that no the i got that uh, small bit of uh, what do you say a uh, uh, realization yeah that i had to make that thing into a timeless one because whether it is clint eastwood and meryl streep whether it's it is laila or majnu whether oh. it is vasu or sapna correct that feeling is the same correct so i had to get it that in the song and that's your favorite song i that's my favorite song i started singing it on the end credits of bridges of madison bridges county. of madison county wow and this is how the song goes yeah lal hori aai re lal era khet ma chun chun paaya diya baaje re par ma लाल होरी आई रे लाल खेत मा चुन चुन पायलिया बाजे रे पैर गत 
आकाश भेटे भुईला छंद उठातले गीत गाती नवे गारवा याब संतातला सृष्टीचा सोहळा बिलगुनी गंधरा नावणारा गौरल जीवंतीचा केतकीचा मळा पुष्कळा आज तू सोबतीला छंद उठातले गीत गाती नवे गारवा ध्यान व्यापन वीला हात हातातले सो आकाश भेटे भुईला वा खूपच छान आणि वॉन्ट टेल ऑल ऑफ यू यु नो वी इंटेन्शनली बिफोर वी बिगॅन दी इंटरव्ह्यू वी डिसाइडेड दॅट वी स्पीक विथ यू इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज इट्स प्रॉब्ली द मोस्ट इझिली युनिवर्सली अंडरस्टूड लँग्वेज वेदर यू आर इन अमेरिका युरोप वेर एव यू आर वॉचिंग अस वी वॉन्ट यू टू अंडरस्टँड द स्टोरीज दॅट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट but the greatest thing about music is that it does transcend language i'm sure you are enjoying the songs that you're hearing right now and i would love for you to discover these songs on youtube most of them would be on youtube uh, you can find them on itunes you can find them uh, at uh, cd stores and stuff like that so go and get this music because it's brilliant brilliant music khup sundar hota atishay sundar gana hota ani even poetry hi ji hai ji lili hai itki sundar lili hai very very nice i mean fantastic stuff i mean there's so much to talk about and it's just ridiculous that i don't have enough time and uh, so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sort of give you a quick update on what's happening kaushal you got a new movie coming out which has got tanuja ji in it yes. pitrurun yes. and when does the movie come out when does the music come uh, out the music is already out on the net it's okay. on dingana.com on dingana.com yeah and uh, it will but release in cd form soon i okay. think by next week fantastic and uh, the movie is out on october 11th october 11th is the is the date that you got to remember for the movie yes. if you've not seen ajanta and balgandharva please check them out brilliant brilliant movies to watch and incredible soundtracks you know even if you don't want to watch the movie just get the soundtracks i guarantee this is an mj show mihir joshi guarantee that you will not regret it irrespective of whether you understand marathi or not i am a maharashtrian and i don't really understand every word that i hear i mean i don't understand the poetry because it's a little archaic for me and maybe if i sat with kaushal or with anand then ask them okay explain what the song means to me i'll probably appreciate them more but even without understanding the the words i can tell you that i love the music and i think you've Thank done you such so a phenomenal much. phenomenal job in getting such music out to people because so. it's necessary i think right yeah. now for us you know and the one thing that i really wanted to talk to you guys about and you could have seen uh, in the background here between behind us there's this poster uh, which was a uh, photo which was taken at the at the launch of the marathi abhiman geet that's right quickly tell me why you made the song because that's something that people need to know okay uh, see as you know that i am uh, i was brought up in a pretty cosmopolitan atmosphere correct and uh, till the time i became a music composer and till the time i started my career in marathi music especially correct i did not know that there was a problem attached to the, the music, language yeah yeah and the language okay. yeah and uh, when in 2008 yeah i went to a fm radio station hmm. i was there for some other job i did a jingle for them hmm. and as i was packing up hmm. i asked the radio jockey who was there hmm. uh, i where it was a very casual question i asked him why don't you play marathi songs on your radio station hmm. so he said that it's our policy not to and i was taken a little aback i said you have a policy of not playing marathi songs in, in the capital in of maharashtra exactly 
he said yes i said uh, okay i said why do you do that I, what's the logic behind it he said no because mumbai is you know a cosmopolitan city i said yes but you know you have stations all over india so where else do you have such a policy that in coimbatore you won't play a tamil song in uh, bengaluru you won't play a kannada song correct and bengaluru is as cosmopolitan as mumbai as mumbai exactly <coughs> so he said no we don't have so i said what's the logic for only mumbai having correct. no it's the commercial capital of india i said yes but it is the capital of maharashtra yeah and you have a policy of not playing, playing marathi, marathi songs, songs in that now i said this is discrimination correct because even if my song from balgandharva wins a national award you will still you not won't play, play it because, because it's, it's in marathi yeah it's like saying that no we won't you may be from iit yeah. but we won't give jobs to women okay, okay yeah. it has no connection no logic no relevance yeah. to merit exactly yeah. yeah so i said how do you have such a policy i mean what's the logic behind this policy hmm. and okay you play bulla ke jana mein kaun correct which is out and out a punjabi song and we love it yeah and we love the fact that you play it here in maharashtra correct but what is it that makes punjabi cosmopolitan right and marathi not so vernacular correct what is the so he was quite taken aback by my question because apparently even he hadn't thought about it yeah then he told me that no it's a policy decision taken by our higher ups hmm i said okay where are these higher ups they are sitting in delhi he said hmm so i thought that why should a person sitting in delhi make feel a decision that, yeah. you know we shouldn't have a marathi song okay. so i asked him and he said no they think that if you play a marathi song on the radio station it will uh, it will give a down market feel to the radio station wow now this down market Word. thing hit me yeah so i i said are you trying to tell me that my mother tongue is down market yeah and i didn't know it all these years <laughs> now if you check up on facts yeah you will know that unesco according to a survey of unesco there are 6500 languages and dialects okay out of those 6500 languages yeah if you make a compilation of languages that are most spoken in the world yeah according to the encarta encyclopedia marathi is the 15th most spoken language in the in the world, world yeah on this planet yes wow so a 15 most spoken language 10 crore people speak marathi right it cannot be down market just on the basis of the quantity of population correct so is it because in hindi films the local labor is shown as maharashtra shown as maharashtra what is it that gives a down market feel to the language yeah but see 30 years ago yeah the local labor in hindi films was north indian because correct. the people came from there correct now the industry is here so the local labor is going to be from maharashtra correct if the film industry was in calcutta correct they would be from calcutta it, yeah it would bengali be people. bengali correct yeah so i said this is just a prejudice and yeah. where does this prejudice start yeah it starts with our own people correct you know you can't say that you can't just simply keep blaming outsiders and anybody who lives in maharashtra is a maharashtrian correct who feels for bombay i feel correct i've seen many people who are not maharashtrian and who feel that bombay or mumbai is their home right okay so they should feel the same thing about marathi exactly yeah yeah okay so why this step motherly treatment right. to the language right. i mean languages are it's our uh, culture it's our heritage yeah so i thought that if this was a case yeah. and if this was a projection of the language i had to do something about it yeah to change and what that perception I do? yeah i can't wait for <coughs> politicians right i can't wait for uh, activists to change the perception about my language correct what can i do as a I'm musician i am a musician yeah. i can make a song correct so i thought i would make the biggest song in the world in marathi correct if you say this is down market what is up market do you say rehman studio ila raja's music section string section is it the best in the country i'll use that i'll use that exactly you say bishwadeep chatterji who has designed sound for three idiots devdas is he the best sound engineer in the country i'll use him 
I'll request him to do the sound designing of my song. Right. If you say Yashraj Studio, the biggest studio in Asia, we'll go and record our rhythm there. Wow. And not one, not ten, not fifteen, not twenty, but three hundred people will sing this song. It will be the biggest song in the world and then let people tell me that we won't play this song because it is down market. Yeah. <laughs> and that is what led me to look Recording. for it. So it was not to teach somebody a lesson. Yeah. So Marathi Abhiman Geet, as you know, lot of people whose mother tongue is not Marathi have sung in the song. Yeah. And they have sung on their own accord. When I recorded Shankar Mahadevan, hmm. after singing, he had tears in his eyes and when he said to me that is Hari Haran singing in this song hmm. I said I don't know Hari Haran hmm. so he said I'll call him up hmm. but he has to sing in this song Why? and so lot of people and when I called up Hari Haran Hari Haran spoke to me in chaste Marathi wow and he said I believe in this cause more than you do Brilliant. so I'll sing for you if there is a video happening I'll come there f for the video yeah. And he sang in the song and it took me one and a half years to make the song, one and a quarter years actually, yeah. to make this song yeah. without doing any other commercial project. Wow. So for one and a quarter years, I was only Dedicated doing to this, this one song. <clears throat> but it paid off, you know, the after the song came, yeah. uh, channels, radio stations in started Mumbai. Playing not only started playing songs in Marathi, yeah. now they have award functions for, for Marathi, Marathi music. Songs. And Radio Mirchi and Big FM, they started uh, award functions in Marathi. Yeah. I got a very interesting letter yeah. from a Marathi person staying in Chennai. Okay. Who, you know, who felt that this song was a great connect with his motherland, that is Maharashtra. Right. And he used to play this song to everybody that he met. Okay. met. Wow. So, a Chinese man had come down from Beijing or China or Hong Kong, I don't know. So, he played the song to him. Okay. <coughs> when the man went back to China, he yeah. wrote him an email which he forwarded to me. Uh -huh. The Chinese man said that I listen to this song on YouTube almost every day. Wow. After coming to China. Yeah. And till now, I thought India was Chennai and Bangalore and Delhi. Now I know that there is something called Maharashtra also. Yeah. Next time I come to India, I want to check out what Maharashtra is. Wow. And I don't know what these people are singing. Yeah. But I know that they are singing with great love and affection for something. Lovely. And that is why I hear this song almost every, every day. day. Wow. So as you say, music transcends language. Yeah. So does love. So does passion. Yeah. It's a brilliant thing and I want you to see the song as well, Marathi Abhiman Gee, there's a video for it, I'm going to give it to you in the info section and here as an annotation. You know what uh, Kaushal, this, like, like I said earlier, there's so much more to talk about but yes. we don't have enough time for it today and uh, you know what, here's what I want you to do. You give us feedback, tell me how soon you want me to get Kaushal back on the show. If you want an hour with him, I'll, I'll do that and I'll, we'll get him back on the MJ show very Thank soon. Thank you so much. No, seriously, it was so much fun meeting you again yes. today. It's and always connecting. a pleasure meeting you. It, it is. It really, really yeah. is. And um, I'm really glad. I'm really glad we did this. Okay, Kaushal is on YouTube. I mean, on YouTube, on Twitter and on Facebook. Kaushal Inamdar, uh, at Kaushal Inamdar on... No, what, uh, what is your Twitter handle? It's at KSNamdar. KSNamdar. And on Facebook, I'm going to give you a link right here in the info section. Yeah. Uh, I am at Music Man Mihir on Twitter and my Facebook page is... Uh, uh, slash Mihir Joshi page. So please let me know what you think about uh, our show today. If you have any questions for Kaushal, uh, send them to me and I'll ask him the next time I meet him. We'll meet up very soon because he's got a movie, uh, uh, the soundtrack is already out. We'll talk about it a few months down the line or a few weeks down the line once again. Once again, thank you Kaushal thank for you, being Mihir. here. Thank you so much. Kaushal Anamdar, Mihir Joshi, this is the MJ Show. Thank you for watching us. <laughs>